Hi everyone, greeting from Bangkok still. In today's adventure, we are going to this market that is known to be the most dangerous market in Thailand. It is called Meklong Railway Market or the Train Street Market. It is one of the most popular tourist hotspots around Bangkok. And in fact, this market is located in Samut Sungkram province, which is about 65 kilometers away from Bangkok. And the best way to get there is by taxi or book a package tour where you can get transferred to and from there back to Bangkok. However, with my adventure spirit, I'm going to go there by taking the local transportation. So to get there first, we have to take the bus from Khao San Road to Wong Vien Yai and then from Wong Vien Yai by train to Maha Chai and then from Maha Chai to Ban Lam where I can take the train from Ban Lam to the market. Well, let's see if it goes smoothly. Now I'm heading to Khao San Road where the bus stop is. So according to the information, the bus that I should take is number 82. Alright now we're on the bus number 82 and it looks like this one, the red color. And actually the bus stop is not exact on Khao San Road but a bit before Khao San Road. So what you can do is you can go on Google map and type Wong Vien Yai Railway Station and then click on the map and then click on the bus icon and it should tell you which bus stop you should be at and which bus number you should take. And just in case if you missed out the one on Khao San Road, you can also take it from Rajaranan Klang Road, which is a few minutes walk from Khao San Road. So there are a few bus stops on Rajaranan Klang Road. You just find the one that has number 82 and just hop on from there. They just made it to Wong Mien Yai and it took 30 minutes. Actually, it should be shorter, but because of the traffic. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm walking to the railway station and then from there I'm gonna take to Maha Chai. I think the railway station should be on the other side of the street. Let's try. So busy in this area. You see this is Wong Wien Yai. So Wong Wien Yai means the big roundabout. So my bus stopped up there and it should cross the road. When you get lost, you can just ask local people. Don't just rely on Google Maps. It's, it just doesn't help. I mean, I've been walking around and around for like back and forth like a few times now. Right, it's right here. I got it now because well, the reason that I can't find it is because of the big construction behind the road. You can't see it because it's all blocked. So it's in here. Right, this is Wong Vien Yai railway station. So why do, where do I buy the ticket now? Pick up, see the door, Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, it opened at 9.40. Very too early. Okay, well, I guess I have to wait. So if you're gonna do it the way I do by taking the bus to Wong Mian Yai and I take train from here to Maha Chai, there's no need to wake up early. I just got my ticket, it costs only 10 baht.
แต่ที่มีตัวโดยสารแล้วกรุณาซึ่งจัดหาที่ด้านบนกระบวนการส่วนที่สามที่ยังไม่มีตัวโดยสารกรุณาติดต่อที่มีตัวโดยสารช่องทางไหนขอบคุณครับขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณ So I need to walk to the pier and then cross to the p a t h a l u m on the other side and take the train from there to m a c l o n g Market. It takes five minutes from here, from the station to the pier. Let's see. This is very busy local market. I guess this is the pier. Guys, I just had no idea. I just went and asked people on the way. Uh, you can always ask people. I mean, if you're gonna rely on a Google Map again, you're not gonna make it. Okay, so Ban Lam Railway Station, that way on the right. This temple is so beautiful, very small, compared to the rest of the temples I've seen in Bangkok. This is the smallest one, but it's so pretty. I feel like it's more than five minutes already since I've been walking. สถานีรถไฟเป็นตรงใช่ไหมครับผมขอบคุณครับไปนี้ก็ได้ไปนี้ได้ไปได้สองจานโอเคครับครับขอบคุณครับตรงนั้นต้องยืนนะเห็นที่ร้าน So the gentleman told me we can go straight on or just go that on the right, but we chose to go straight on. You see. It's not easy to find it because there's no sign, so I can re only rely on the local people, you know, just asking them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First train leaves at 7:30, 10:30, 1:30, and 4:30. Uh, uh, now it's only 11 o'clock, and the next train departs at 1:30. We still have a long time waiting. I don't know. I I just don't want to recommend this route. The way that I'm taking it's just too long. I think the best way to do it is probably just take the taxi and. From Bangkok straight to the market, it just takes a lot of time and effort, and it's delayed. So I found one recommendation from online. It says you you can take the minibus from Mahachai train station, a uh, bus number 481, to Samut Songkram, and then you can walk from there to Mekong Market without having to take the boat across to this side and wait for the train. Okay, everyone, it's a change of plan. So I decided that I better go back to Mahachai and take the mini bus from there. Well, at least I know that there is another option. So let's do that. Cost me only 40 baht from here to Mekong. Well, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Uh, he said 40 minutes from here to get there. Let's see. Finally made it. It took only 40 minutes 
ride by man. Oh look! This beautiful thing. Hey sweetie, can I touch you? Beautiful eyes. Wow, very nice. Bye. It looks a little bit like Yawarad in Chinatown. The sign and the atmosphere. Here we are. All right. Since the railway market that we have been trying to get to, mm, let's take a walk around. I mean, just take a look at it. I, I can't imagine that the train actually passed through this alley, but it's, it's happening. There's a train track here. And according to some video that I saw before, when the train comes in, all these umbrellas unfolded. I saw there are quite many tourists. I don't know how to get here. They probably hire a private tour or maybe a taxi, I don't know, because for me, trying to get here was complicated, but we made it. This is definitely one of a kind. This market is known to be the most dangerous market in Thailand and you can see why. I mean, can you imagine while you're shopping and then you get hit by the moving train in your ass? That is dangerous, I think. <laughs> I haven't checked the schedule yet, when is the next train coming in, but I mean we have a lot of time so we can wait. Great, just got myself this jackfruit. I can't remember when was the last time I had Czech fruit. It smells like durian, but it tastes much better. We had a lot in, in, in Laos. Quite sweet. In the village when I grew up, you know, where I grew up, the seeds you can either boil it or grill it. It tastes really good to see the size. So the man told me that the next train is arriving at 2.30, so we still have two hours to wait. Actually, most people would combine it with the floating market called Ampawa floating market. It's one of the floating markets in Thailand. Uh, I have done two already. I've done the main one, which is called Damnan Sadiwak, and then the Dalingchan Market. So Ampawa Floating Market is about 10 minutes by car from here. The origin of the Meklong Market goes back to even before the arrival of the train in Thailand. 
When the track was constructed in 1905, the market was already there and instead of relocating it, the government decided to keep it as it is and have the train run through it as we see today. Originally, the railway was built for transporting produce from the fishing ports of Samut Sakon and Samut Songkram to the Bangkok markets. The train tracks was built in two separate stages. The Tachin Railway founded in 1901 with a concession from the Crown of Thailand to construct a line to Samut Sakon from Bangkok. Later on, the 33 km Mahachai Line was built and it opened in 1904 with 8 stations. And a year later, the Meklong Railway Company opened the 34 km Ban Lam Line and then in 1907, the two lines merged together. In 1926, the government of Thailand purchased the company and then electrified the eastern section and then turning it into an interurban tramway. And in 1942, when the Thai military gained control of the railway company, they decided to fully merge the lines and turning it into the public transportation till today. The locals call this market the Lat Hoop, means umbrella pull down market. Because when the train is coming, all the umbrellas get pulled down by the merchants, and that is to make the way for the train to pass through safely, which we will see it later. <laughs> I just ordered coconut ice cream, my favorite. This is homemade ice cream for sure. Very good. เป็นคนหน่อยเป็นคนสิบบาทนะครับใช่ค่ะขอบคุณนะคะเอ่อไม่ค่ะร้อนมากอ่ะนี่อร่อยนี่ขอบคุณนะคะรสจัดค่ะ
So each counter has their number and I'm going back to Kaosan Road so I take number two and it costs only 70 baht 